everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. John Barbieri. I'm a board certified dermatologist at the Brigham Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School, where I direct our acne rosacea clinic. In this video today, I want to share with you what causes acne, what are the key factors, and on a high level, how can we approach treating and managing acne. When we think about the basic underlying demographics of who gets acne, about 85% of teenagers are going to have it. It's incredibly common. Almost everybody gets it to some degree. And although we often think of acne as a problem of adolescence, for many it actually persists into adulthood. For about 50% of women, they have acne in their 20s, and about 30% will even have acne into their 30s. And for men, about 30 or 40% will have acne in their 20s, and 10 to 20% may even have acne into their 30s. So it's not uncommon for acne to persist into adulthood, or even for some to start in adulthood. When it comes to what causes acne, there are four main factors. The first one is the sebaceous gland and oil production. At puberty, hormones like testosterone and DHEAS, they turn on that oil gland and it starts to make more oil. And that oil is food for our second factor, acne bacteria. So cutie bacterium, acne, that loves that oil from that sebaceous gland, it eats it up, and as it grows, it leads to inflammation from our immune system reacting to that bacteria on the skin. In addition, that oil production leads to our pores getting clogged up with gunk and with keratinization with our skin cells and debris, and that leads to getting our whiteheads and blackheads when those pores are getting clogged. So that's our third factor. And then our fourth factor is inflammation. Some people have an inflammatory response where their immune system is just not as good at responding to this overproduction and overgrowth of acne bacteria. And this actually can depend on which kind of a specific immune cell we have called Th17 cells. And some of them make something called T-cell extracellular traps that go and they get rid of C. acne, and other people just causes inflammation and redness in a less productive way. So those again are our four main factors. Really fundamentally, the oil gland, the sebaceous gland in our skin, getting turned on by hormones is our key thing that's driving our acne. It's giving food for that acne bacteria, C. acne, and as people get overgrowth of C. acnes in their skin and loss of diversity of their skin microbiome, as that happens, that leads to inflammation, to pores getting clogged up, and to the manifestations of acne, having whiteheads, blackheads, inflammatory pimples, and our deeper nodules and cysts. And so when it comes to treating acne, any treatment that addresses some of those four key factors is gonna be helpful. So we can try to block the hormones that are causing acne, and we can do that actually with birth control pills in women or anti-androgens like spironolactone. And now there's even a topical anti-androgen that we can use in both men and women called clascoderone that we can use to address that hormonal pathogenesis of acne, those hormonal causes that drive acne. We can try to kill the acne bacteria. We can use a topical antibiotic or an oral antibiotic to do that. We can try to help prevent the pores from getting clogged and help open them up using things like salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide. And then we also have our backbone kind of acne treatment. We have retinoids, both topical and systemic retinoids that help keep the pores from getting clogged up with that hyperkeratinization, that help reduce inflammation, and that can also help reduce oil production. And so by focusing on those four key pathogenic factors, we can choose treatments that can complement each other and work together as a team as part of an effective acne regimen. I hope you found this video interesting. It's a pleasure having you a part of our acne community here on the channel. And if you'd like more content like this about acne rosacea, give us a like and subscribe to this channel.